Hello, Earth Signs, and welcome back to my channel, the Moon Tarot. So, Earth Signs, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, I am here to give you guys a real quick energy check, um, just to see what's going on in your love life, right? Yeah. And um, this reading is for the collective. It may or may not resonate with you, okay? Just take what does resonate and toss out the rest. And uh, thank you so much for everything that you guys do that helps this channel keep growing. The likes, subscribes, comments, shares, donations, everything. Um, everyone here has been really super kind to me. And I'm just, I'm so grateful for each and every one of you. All right, so Divine, what do you have for Earth Signs? In love, Earth Signs, in love, please, Earth. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. What do you have for Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn? Okay. Ooh. Ooh. All right, so what I'm seeing here is you may have a new love. Um, a very, it's, it almost seems like it's a very... Uh, um, hot love affair, right? <laughs> I, I don't know if this is someone new yet or not, but we'll find out. Um, somebody else, though, is looking at this like they're very, very angry, extremely angry. This is like the lover's card in this deck. Um, there, Somebody may have had a, a decision to make in love or something, and I feel like they're choosing you. Uh, and it's a steamy, very passionate connection here. Um, and there's someone, though, that doesn't believe in this. Um, I'm kind of feeling like a sense of spirituality here. Maybe there's uh, whoever it is that, whoever's looking at this like they don't like it. It could have something to do with their spirituality. I'm just seeing that your connection is protected. That's really what I'm seeing here. Your connection is protected, but someone else, there's others that do not agree with this connection um, and it it'll definitely has something I think it has something to do with the spirituality here there there see the people that are hating on this connection they're all like little clones here you know what I mean they're all trying to think the same um, and if, if somebody doesn't think the same they send them through this brainwashing machine here okay um, and they're angry because I feel like I feel like they're, you're meeting somebody who's spiritual or maybe someone is going towards you um, and you're spiritual and there's other people who are having a hard time with that. The differences in spirituality is really what I'm feeling like here. P people having a hard time. Stalking, there's some intimidation here. There could even be some confrontation. There's people watching the situation. Um, yeah, you could be a divine feminine here. Very fertile. Birthing, birthing something new and creative, okay, with your third eye. Co-creating with the universe and the divine. I feel like you are doing something intuitive. I, I could be talking to a divine feminine here because it says it right there, that's all. Um, yeah, I feel like people are watching this connection, okay, uh, watching both of you, let's put this over here, um, and not liking what they're seeing, because somebody here doesn't have the same kind of spirituality as these people, I think it's you, I think it's you, earth sign, very intuitive here, using that third eye. Yeah, some kind of differences in your spiritual beliefs. Um, they could even be jealous of you. You know, they're not liking you for some reason, and you're different from the others. And, uh, yeah, they don't like that. But this is, you know, this is the lovers here. I feel like you've got this beautiful connection and it is very steamy and passionate. So, all right, what else can you show me here for earth signs? Yeah, watching and studying. 
and we've got the fool in reverse here. Uh, I feel like people want to stop you guys from having a new beginning. That's sort of the feeling that I'm getting, and they're studying for ways to do that. They're studying ways to stop this from happening here. Yeah, I feel like somebody had a decision to make. You could have blocked somebody here because, you know, they were deceptive, lies, in and out energy, but now somebody is looking to come back in, I feel. They're looking back here knowing that they're missing out on this Ten of Cups. So maybe, I don't know, this person, may, you may not have met them yet, or maybe this is somebody coming back to you, but this is, this is a soulmate card. This is my lover's card in this deck. I feel like somebody has a choice to make. And it has something to do, too, with people not liking your spirituality. Okay? A judgment is being called. I feel like things are being brought to light here, and it's time for this person to make a decision. That was just too many cards. <laughs> All right, so what else can you show me here for the person watching? Earth signs, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Tons of cards are coming out here, guys. That's too many, though. Yeah, it's like somebody's hanging on to your energy, but yet at the same time, it's they feel scared, contemplative, like they are thinking and a bit intimidated and nervous, you know? It's almost like this is somebody who sits there and shakes for a while, you know what I mean? Yeah, they've got a lot of love inside for this Queen of Cups. Look at this. They're seeing somebody here as their match energetically. This could be, you know, I feel like you're the one here who's loving, kind, gentle, caring, giving, very strong, standing in your integrity. Uh, you could be dealing with the water sign. But this person here, you may not know this because they never told you. They never showed you, you know, but they have a lot of love for you on the inside. This is somebody who's just like butter on the inside, right? Real mushy, you know. Um, and they see you as their match, I feel. You're just very loving. This person wants to come in and apologize to you. You haven't been talking to this person. You've just been standing in your strength, your integrity, standing in your truth. You've got your boundaries up. Um, just a real strong energy here. You've got a cap on your love. Um, but they want to come in and apologize. I feel like with this here and this as well, I'm getting the feeling like they're looking at this cup, right? And they're looking at the fish, like, um, do I even have a good enough apology for this person? Do I? Do I have a good enough apology for this person? I feel like this is somebody coming back to you, <laughs> right? Could be a possible water sign. Could be a Leo, Pisces. I've got Scorpio out here as well. And Aries in reverse. Okay, but this is somebody who deceived you, made you wait until all of that emotion was dried up. I feel like they could have even played some games with you out of ego maybe. Um, and it just went south. Okay, whatever game they played went way wrong. Uh, and they could have been just waiting to hear from you. Like maybe they thought you would come chasing after them. You know, but um, that didn't happen. You stood in your strength. You didn't talk to this person, you know, um, and I, I really do feel like it was an impulsive move that was way wrong. Like um, it just went south. It went bad really fast. And this person stood there and waited and waited and waited, thought they would keep playing the game. You weren't playing games. Look at this. Ten of Pentacles here. Yeah, you weren't playing games because you knew what you were with, or worth. You knew what you were worth. 
Um, you could have given this person ten pentacles. That's the most you can have in the deck. This is having, this is the ultimate wish fulfillment dream life. This is a commitment that's long lasting and solid. This is generational wealth and a happy family and everybody's happy and it's a really good connection. And that's what you would have given this person and you knew it. And I feel like, I feel like you were trapped and stuck in your mind. This person and they're waiting around and playing their games had you like this and they never freed you from that. So you, I feel like now you've got a cap on your love and they want to come in and apologize. You're their Ten of Cups. Look at this. You're their Ten of Cups. This is all also wish fulfillment. Okay, ultimate wish fulfillment. Happy, beautiful life. You're the Ten of Pentacles. The Divine is like, buddy, why don't you see this? I feel like they're seeing it now. And with this trumpet sounding, I feel like it's time for this person to come forward and try to make this right. But now, after all of this time, they don't know if that fish in that cup is going to be enough. Like, what kind of apology can they possibly offer you now? Do you know what I mean? That's how this person is feeling. Like they're hanging on to you, but they're shaking. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, wanting to communicate. Yes. Wanting to drop these burdens, right? Because this is hard to sit like this every day, all day. <laughs> All crinkled up, rolled up in a little ball, shaking. Yeah, it's hard for this person. They want to put the burdens down. They want to drop some of these burdens and communicate. Tell you the truth, have a conversation. Clear the air, right? Get you some kind of clarity. They want to come along now and finally give you clarity. That's going to get you unstuck. I feel like... Most of us are already kind of unstuck. I feel like a lot of these people have waited just a bit too long and played their games for too long. You know? All right, what else can you show me? You know, wanting to work on things here with an empress. Look, this person, they want to come forward. I kind of feel like they're worried that somebody else is going to come in and snatch you away, okay? Because really, what they have to offer you is a fish in a cup, right? They're really kind of worried about that. And I feel like what, what worries them more is if they don't tell you they want to work on this, if they don't put some kind of effort into this, if they don't meet with you somehow, um, someone else is going to take you away. I feel like you're in empress mode here. And I feel like you're very abundant. You People need to come to you correct. Okay. Um, that's why this person is squished up in a little ball shaking. They need to come to you correct. And how do you approach an empress carrying a fish in a cup? You know? Yeah. Like, personally, all of a sudden, I just got the image of one of those carnival fish poles. You know, I love that game. If somebody won me a fish at a carnival, that would be a really good way to approach me. Like, for real, I'm thinking, you know, that wouldn't be so bad if I got a goldfish. You know what I mean? Like, if they showed up at a door with a goldfish, you have to at least listen to them, right? You don't have to accept the apology. Well, forgive them for you, right? But, like... If it's a goldfish from a carnival, at least listen, right? At least listen. <laughs> right? <laughs> anyway, this person, though, um, that's their biggest fear, right? This is their biggest fear. This is the most fear you can have before it's man down, okay? Before absolute defeat, this is the worst you can really feel, okay? Um, at this card here, the Nine of Swords, you're up all night. You can't eat. You can't sleep. You're afraid. You're having nightmares. You're worried. You're so stressed out, you can barely take it. 
your your you, this is the most stress anyone can really endure to be honest with you this is the most stress a person can endure and that's what they're going through thinking about you with someone else that may be better than them now okay they're freaking out that that may be this here take it how it resonates because now all of a sudden I've got two scenarios okay so you could be in a new relationship here a new connection that's really fiery and hot and this person like no you know what I mean or this is your connection and people are looking down upon it because you're you're a spiritual being I kinda think that's the scenario that's the one I'm feeling here yeah so this person's like do I boss up or not right and they spent so much time in their ego it's almost like now they don't want to let it go and they certainly don't want to come to you with this fish in this cup and spill out their heart to you right king of cups because I feel like that's what they're about to do um, so they're gonna come to you and spill out their heart but they don't they don't want you to say well I have someone better than you you know what I mean I I don't foresee you being mean I really don't but they don't know that and they don't want to go towards you telling you how they feel still hanging on to their ego and knowing that they, they may be crushed do you know what I'm saying that's what I'm feeling like here anyway so okay what um, then what's gonna happen give me like three cards what can what can earth signs expect you could be dealing with uh, an Aquarius Pisces Taurus they do oh wow you know what I didn't even see that they do see you as their match though look at this if you guys were to get together I feel like you could potentially be that power couple but they're gonna have to get the nerve they're gonna have to get the nerve up to come forward right they have to get un uncurled from this little ball stop shaking and they've got to come forward with whatever they've got man whatever they've got if they don't want you to get with someone else this person's got to boss up all right yeah look bottom of the deck I do feel like they're gonna come forward okay um soulmate connection here yeah uh yeah they're gonna step towards you ever so gently okay ever so gently I do not see a carnival fish in their hands though okay just so you know which is kind of a downer because I was really hoping for you I was hoping but yeah they're just bringing themselves in this cup right uh, and I feel like this is when they come forward and tell you how they feel about you, give you this apology, give you the truth that you need to at least move forward, right? So, like, use your discernment and your intuition. You may not accept this person back in your world, but, you know, you may want to hear them out. I feel like this is coming in fast. They are going to tell you, you know, they're in a lot of regret. Um, they're thinking of their wording really carefully here. How do they say I'm in so much regret for turning my back on you for someone else and it didn't work out? See, they don't want to come towards you talking about their other relationship. I think that they know that's not going to work either. If they mention that at all, are you going to turn them away? Blah, 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 blah. This person, this is like the hermit card to me, only in the cups, right? And that's because he's wearing the same outfit, except with the hoodie. At this point, this person is so emotional, so stressed out. Uh, you know, as the hermit card, they kind of keep all of that on the inside. But when you add how emotional this person is, it's really showing now. The hoodie's off. 
they're not able to hide it anymore. This person's sad, effed up in the head. They're stressed out. They want their person back. They don't want you to get with someone else. This stresses them out. And, you know, um, they're going to come towards you, tell you how much in regret they are, but, geez, how do they tell you this truth, look you in the eye, and feel horrible and stressed about what they did and you know this is somebody like confessing about how crappy they treated you uh, face to face face to face that's hard for this person especially since they kinda clung on to their ego and their games right it's hard for them to do but huh, yeah they're being, wow, they're really being led to do it. You know why? And I just, I was saying, right, it's this right here. They're using intuition too, this person. You know, this hermit here, it's a very intelligent person, okay? This is just the hermit all in their feels, all right? Hoodie off, hoodie off. So, yeah, they're all up in their fields. They're very intelligent. They're very intuitive. They can feel that the divine is, in fact, mixing up a new soulmate connection for you. That would be this guy, okay? And this person, you know, when this new person comes in, they could very well snatch you away and snatch that chance, that opportunity of you guys ever getting back together. Okay, I think you're headed for a commitment here. You're very worthy of this Ten of Pentacles and this Ten of Cups. All right, so I feel like the divine here is saying, buddy, you don't have any more time. Sit down and listen. Sit down, sit down, Mr. Hermit, and listen. Uh, haven't you seen now? You've learned your lesson, right? Now get a load of this. I've got an angel over here mixing up a new soulmate connection for the earth signs. Right now. Are you going to go in and make it right with your person or nah? This person's being spiritually led and they intuitively know that you're about to have somebody new and wonderful. And wonderful. Because you deserve it. Yeah, so, you know, they can lay here and stress out or they can go forward and talk. I feel like they're coming forward. I do. I feel like this is them coming forward. It, it, may, take a, uh, it may take a New York minute to get uncurled and stop shaking, but I really do feel like they want to talk to you in person. It's just something that's really hard for this person to do. They're taking, they need to take accountability for how they hurt you. And they're about to do that. Yeah, so get ready. Anyway, Earth Signs, that's what I've got for this quick little ditty. Um, I hope you liked it. I hope this um, helps and resonates with you. If you guys did like this video, please click that like button, right? Um, yeah, give me a big fat thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Um, become a new Mooney. Yes. I like grin from ear to ear when I say it because it's so cute, you know. Anyway, yeah, become a new Mooney, right? And um, until next time, Earth Signs, listen, take care of you and peace out.